Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video for you, and in this video, it's not really, I mean, it's nothing that I've done in the past besides the review on the 1986 Honda Spree. Um, I'm using a helmet camera right now to record. I ordered a Drift Innovation uh, HD 720p camera, and that's what I'm using right now. It's what I have mounted on my helmet. And this, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on my motorized bike. And this is it right now. Let's see if I can get you a good camera shot of it. Anyway, the uh, the kind of bike I have on it is a it's a beach cruiser. It's a Huffy. The Huffy Nell Lusso, as you can see right there. Um, all of it is stock. Everything on it is stock. Um, there's maybe uh, seven to eight hours on the engine, if that. Um, I did get kind of like a little. This is a. This is kind of like a, sort of like a headlight and LED strobe light at the same time. And it's four LEDs, it's like 13 lumens or something. It's pretty, it's decently bright. I mean, it's got four lights on it. And then on the back, oh, well, that's not good, it fell off. Oh, okay. tail light flash. Oh, that's not good at all. Tail light kind of fell off. That ain't good. I'll have to find another screw for that, dang it. Well, at least it didn't fall off and, you know, lose it completely. You just tape it on there, I don't really care. Um, the only thing that I've added to this bike are two lights and this speedometer right here. If I can get to the time. It's I've put two hour, two and a half hours on this speedometer, but I used my bike a little bit before I got the speedometer. And on the wheel, as you can see, there's the sensor, and there's the magnet that goes on your wheel to tell how fast you're going as you go around. So yeah. Um, uh, problems I've had with it is these back bolts right here, they start to slide down, which loosens this chain and loosens that one. I've had to retighten those once. It, the engine is an 80cc or 80-66cc two-stroke engine, 100% stock. Um, it runs great, you know, it works great. Um, I've gotten up to about 25 to 30 miles an hour on it with this 44 tooth sprocket. Um, the top speed, uh, of course, was going downhill, but. I mean, I usually cruise at about 15 to 20 on this. I don't really mind cruising. Going fast is fun, though. I got some Screaming Eagle Harley Davidson performance parts stickers on the gas tank. Uh, the ratio I have in it right now is 16 to 1. 8 ounces of oil per 1 gallon. And, um, you know, it it kind of looks, in my opinion, like an old... Harley motorcycle or Indian motorcycle. It looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. I love this thing. It's awesome. I got the upgraded type to where it came with this U-bolt mount and I put some Nerf bullets in the back. I, I could just find whatever I wanted to find to kind of keep vibrations down. This thing does vibrate a lot, but I mean not enough to where it affects the performance in how you ride. Like, you, I mean, you can definitely feel it, but it, it doesn't shake the engine around at all as long as you have these tight. I did put Loctite on this back idler pulley because that was a pain in the butt for me, getting that on. Um, okay, what else? I have wrecked this bike. <laughs> it was raining, you know, a little bit one day, and... I, I mean, it wasn't raining when I left my house, but it started to sprinkle and rain. And it got slippery, and I pretty much just slid off the road. The bike, there's nothing, there was nothing wrong with the bike at all. The bike was completely fine. 
The pedals took all of the impact. The pedals are fine, so I'm happy nothing happened to it. ADCC two-stroke, max horsepower is like six horsepower, uh, 6,000 RPMs is the max you can get, I think. And that's like if you're going super, super fast full throttle. Um, well, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about it. For new engines, you want to use the 16 to 1 ratio for the first uh, about four, three to four gas tanks. As soon as I'm done with this gas tank and the gallon that I have inside my garage, I'm going to go to 20 or 24 to 1 ratio, which is like 5.5 ounces per one gallon. Um, recommended ride time um, is 20 to 30 minutes before stopping and letting it cool down. Um, that is one con with these engines. Two, I mean, four strokes can handle a lot more heat than two strokes can. Um, but two strokes are definitely a lot more customizable and a lot more fun in my opinion. Um, I got the original seat that came with the bike right here. You know, it's got the spring seat, so that kind of helps with vibrations when you're riding it. And it's got the little thing on the back right here, max load, 22 pounds, so I don't know if you see that. Uh, clutch and everything. Got that locking thing on it. I don't know if you see the clutch. Oh. Um, I, if I have a clip of uh, if I have a clip of it running, I'll put that in the video. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments if this new camera is working pretty good for you. And let me know if you guys uh, well soon once the snow melts, I'm gonna start you know moto vlogs and riding this with this helmet camera on. And let me know how the mic sensitivity is. I turn the mic sensitivity was on one, but I put it up to two because it didn't sound, you know, it didn't sound very loud. It didn't sound like it was picking up everything. But that's pretty much all I got for you in this video, YouTube. Um, comment below if you want to see more videos related to this and what type of videos you want. Um, and leave a comment if you like this new drift camera that I have. Uh, well, YouTube, that's pretty much all I got for you. So, see you in the next video.